Ray KD 2 IBP. Today is going to be, this evening is going to be the change out of the noisy cooling fan for the tubes on the SB200. You may not be able to hear the fan right now because I haven't really been transmitting the past couple of minutes. I'm going to bring it up to like 500 watts. <clears throat> you heat the tubes up a little bit and you'll hear it ramp up. And you're probably going to hear the bearings in the fan making a little bit of noise. So we got a new uh, new 28350DC muffin fan <coughs> without the thermistor uh, temperature control on it. But I'm going to switch that over when I change out the fan and see how we do. Alright, the fan's starting to ramp up a little bit now because the tubes are getting a little warmer. We got 88 degrees above the tubes Fahrenheit, 91 degrees <coughs> coming out of the bottom. The uh, fan draws the air from the top to the bottom. I'm not worried about convection so much. Um, I'll let the fan take care of all that. I'm worried about direction of airflow throughout the uh, system in itself. Now you hear the uh, fan ramping up a little bit more. I'm trying to reach out to uh, Africa at 450 watts, 40 meter, FT8, 7.074 megahertz. I'm actually going to be annoying about it. I'm going to uh, violate the ham code of ethics and I'm just going to keep pestering this guy until my tubes heat up to where the fan's really going. Alright, so <clears throat> the airflow is pretty efficient as is. I cut open some openings in the case and in the rig itself and I also put a baffle between the uh, variable capacitors and the tubes to keep the airflow directed coming straight down over the tubes and out the bottom. Oh, look at this. And I got them. <coughs> All right. Uh, we're in Africa. All right, real quick. <coughs> Taking the circuitry from the other fan to put it into this fan was no good. No bueno. So uh, I got a $10 uh, governor from... Uh, Amazon I think it was where I could control the fan speed thermostatically with this thermistor uh, the reason why it's tied up over here is just to demonstrate how it works a little bit all right uh, terminal one terminal two that's power coming in from uh, satellite power supply I didn't tie it into this yet I wanted to make sure that uh, it worked the way uh, I was hoping it would okay ter terminal three terminal four goes to the fan you have a variable resistor on the PC board Okay, and that controls uh, when the fan throttles up, when it throttles down. I don't know how much control this thing provides, but uh, I'll figure that out later on because I'm going to put some uh, thermistors on to the thermistor here. Uh, and I'm going to put one on the bottom of uh, return air coming up through the bottom of the SB200 uh, blowing across the bottom of the tubes so I could see what the temperature differential is. Uh, once I establish when I want my fan to ramp up and ramp down, um, then that'll be that. Okay, so <coughs> power on. We're going to give it uh, 12 volts. Right now the fan's not on. I could adjust it to come on as soon as power is applied to it, but uh, I like it silent until I need it. You know, the 6 volts go into the, uh, go into the tubes for the filaments isn't really going to give it too much heat and uh, I want a little heat on the tubes so now this is a solder nine I have it uh, heated up to ooh, about 480 degrees let's put it to the uh, the heat sink on a thermistor which is basically just a and it ramps up right away Right, I'm going to take it off. I'm 
I'll let the wind blow across the, the heat sink a little bit. And you immediately see the fan throttling down. Nice and quiet. I'm going to give it a little more heat. And you hear it ramping up nice and smooth. I'm going to take the heat back off. Now, at no time am I going to let the uh, heat the, above the tubes get up to 480 degrees and we don't know what the actual temperature is reaching the thermistor while it's uh, ramping up, but uh, I'll get a better look at that on the next video. But I'm going to mount this in such a way where all I have to do is flip open the top of the cabinet and uh, make the adjustments there and all right there you go kd2 ivp up okay ray kd2 ivp uh, finished the change out of the muffin fan and the uh, the governor to control the fan speed thermostatically i decided to install the governor over here on the chassis. Um, I put the heat sink right up against the chassis here to away and dissipating the heat from the, uh, the transistor and uh, I installed the thermistor just so I could monitor what the system is doing heat wise uh, just off of one tube because right, both tubes are going to be doing the same thing at the same time um, so if I have the the thermistor right over to the tube it's going to tell me a story of what's going on with both of them all right also the uh, heat sink and the thermistor for the governor is also directly over the tube so right now above the tube it's 87 degrees fahrenheit the fan is running but at a very slow speed so you can't really hear it uh ambient temperature in the room is 68 degrees i have a thermistor set up under the opening of the fan to uh uh, measure the temperature of the air coming in the return air going across the bottom of the tubes uh, up throughout the top so I'm set up right now on 40 meter 7.074 megahertz FT8 I'm gonna throw out a little bit of CQDX to elevate the temperature of the tubes I'm on a clear frequency I just made sure that was the case and uh, I'm enabling the text now. We're going to be pushing about 550 watts out of this. So the tubes, tubes should heat up fairly quickly. Alright, we're transmitting now. when DX call sent out. Every 15 seconds is the cycle. I'm set up on automatic. This way I'm kind of hands free here so I can demonstrate a little bit better. Second sequence going out. We got 12 second bursts of data going out in a 15 second time frame. Do that four times that's one minute. You hear the fans starting to pick up a little bit as the tubes start getting warmer. They're at 90 degrees now. Very noticeable difference from the last fan, that's for sure. Very happy with it. The only thing I don't care for too much is the, uh, the efficiency of the governor. I think a lot of the energy is dissipated in heat, that's why you have such a huge heat sink. 
on uh, the transistor. I don't think that's a very efficient way of going about things, but uh, it's effective. 95 degrees. I don't have a tack hooked up to the fan. I, I do have a lead to hook up a, a tachometer to let me know what it's doing RPM wise. Maybe later on down the road I'll do that. That, that same lead controls fan speed potentially uh, using uh, pulse, width, pulse width modulation. But that's a little bit too sexy for this setup, I think. I think uh, we're going to keep it as simple as possible. I like the tachometer because it tells me a little bit more what the fan's doing and uh, airflow. Um, the cubic feet per minute is, are moving over the tubes. Do I really need to know that? Not necessarily. I'm more concerned about temperature. 101 degrees. Now you got to remember, it may be 100 degrees in there, but imagine what it would be without the fans at all. Alright. So there you have it. I gotta find out what the happy temperature is for these tubes. The design temperature. Alright, that's it for now. KD2YBP are clear.